gonna have too much video of me running, so here I am. Beautiful day. Good afternoon. Um, just finished uh, 8K on Saturday, week nine. So last week, I mentioned I missed my long run because I was in Nordic and I was carrying my son on my back. He's little, so it's not that impressive. Um, but this week, my long run is 24 kilometers. So that's by far the longest run I've done. At least a year, probably a year and a half. Uh, so a little nervous, but uh, a little strategy I have is uh, like today I did an 8K, which when you're building up the kilometers, isn't that big of a deal. So I just kind of run out 4K and back. Again, country roads, just find gravel and go for as long as you want. But with a, with a 24K tomorrow, my strategy is gonna be to map out where I'm going and then see kind of how far I need to go. I debated trying to do laps, like maybe three laps somewhere. Um, but I'm gonna do an out and back. And I'm gonna, anyways, I'm gonna look it up online just to see kind of where I need to go to. Then I can kind of visualize. And as I get there, there's little milestones, little corners and things that kind of can encourage me instead of just kind of blindly guessing like, oh, by the time I get to this road, I'll be, you know, five kilometers. And then you get to that road, you're only three. So it's a little bit disheartening. So that's my strategy to kind of map out a long run. And then once I hit that halfway point, I turn around and I got to get home somehow. So that's how that works. video that people do where they're running but then they're pretending that they're not breathing too hard because they're just kind of holding it in and placing the words really closely together so that they can kind of pause and suck in some sort of air realistically normally it'd be like this kind of So it's not too bad. So we finished the long run. Uh, it was probably like, just like me to uh, somehow have this land on the windiest day of the year. There was a tree that fell on the road. Um, and I felt like, yeah, running definitely against the wind on the way. And then at certain times on the way back with the wind. So that's nice. Um, 24 kilometers, 2 hours, 39 minutes. Uh, I did 12 kilometers in 1 hour and 22 minutes, so I was able to have a negative split on the way back of 5 minutes. And I think the key for me is that um, I, was, I was feeling it, but not to the point where I had to stop or walk. Um, and through the last stretch of uh, three kilometers, I, I, I ran pretty fast. I had a, a five, I kind of, I, the average was 638 per kilometer, and I had like a 548 for the last kilometer, and a 613 for the second last one. So I was, was feeling good there. So all in all, successful. I still am amazed at you know, marathon runners that can even do four hours. It's incredible. Someday I hope to do that. But three hours, it's just insane. And to think that there's someone that actually ran a marathon in two hours, I mean, anything's possible. If someone can do that, then anything's possible. <laughs> 